Hi, Jamie here, the head teacher. Let's look today at how to start a virtual business. Being able to start an online business has now become easier thanks to the enormous pool of resources that are available right at our fingertips. It is possible to start a business with little or no funding. All you need is the, the growth mindset and the determination, plus the will to succeed. As Robert Kiyosaki of Rich Dad Poor Dad fame says, you're only poor if you give up. The most important thing is that you did something. As I've mentioned in previous blogs, entrepreneurship has become such a hot topic as more and more people are quitting their day jobs and becoming their own boss. While it's not always easy, it isn't all bad either. You have the choice to start your own business from home and bypass the many obstacles that a business person had a few years ago. You know, a virtual business is, is one that normally has no physical structure. It relies on telecommunications and the internet to operate. This implies lower overhead and startup costs, little or no investment, and you can get started as long as you have a computer and an internet connection. The first step to starting your business begins with knowing what kind of business you want to run. While there are many opportunities for making online money, you'll need to base it around your strengths. Ask yourself, you know, what do you love doing? Or what excites you and you really enjoy talking to others about? Can you do it better or different than other people in the industry? You'll need to you know, conduct research on what other businesses are offering in the same industry. Starting one without first researching what your competitors are doing is like taking a leap of faith with no certainty of making a safe landing. Now, see what others are doing and not doing. It can bring forth new ideas and or maybe you can explore an entirely different area. It hasn't been marketed to you know, before. Now, KYC, know your customer. What age group are you looking to sell to? What locations, beliefs, interests, financial level? You know, the list can go on and on. But the more you know about who you want to sell to, the easier it will be to market and reach out to them. You need to determine how much your savings and your services are wanted and if they are already using it. You can do this by joining different Facebook groups or going to Twitter and look on YouTube. Just because a virtual business has low startup costs though, doesn't mean you can get away with no financial planning. Determine how long you have to support the business until it starts making enough profit to sustain itself. Keep records of your expenses. You know, the great thing about starting a virtual business is that pretty much anyone can do it with zero investment. However, it is also a fact that having some money to invest does make things a little easier. You know, think about your circumstances. Look at the best way to leverage your funds in the best possible way. The sooner you understand money, the better your chances of success. Far too many entrepreneurs fail because they try to do everything on their own. You know, many people might be, be good at marketing or accounting or communicating, but most of us are not. The sooner you realize your limitations and focus on your strengths, the better your chances of running a successful, a successful virtual business will be. And that's where I believe, you know, outsourcing works in so many areas of your business and it makes more sense than doing it on your own. You know, I personally use a company called 123 Employee for most of my outsourcing. They are based in the Philippines and Veronica is my VA, my virtual assistant, does a lot of my work I don't have time for. You know, <clears throat> she does a wonderful job. She's always polite and her communication skills are great. You don't need to have a dedicated sales team or customer support reps right in your office. You know, in fact, there are so many reliable outsourcing opportunities available that it can be possible to run your business on autopilot. You know, you have a company called Fiverr, Fiverr.com, the website that offers you pretty much any writing services you need, you know, with a starting price around $5. There's other freelance platforms like 99designs and Upwork for graphics and many more. 
Outsourcing is a strength that is still underutilized due to the misinformation floating around on the internet. But to establish yourself as an entrepreneur, you must learn to promote yourself as a brand rather than an individual. Don't be afraid to go onto YouTube once in a while to engage your audience. Use either you know, your computer or a decent webcam and microphone and produce short and sweet videos that provoke value to you and your target market. And end your calls with a call to action, directing viewers to your website or blog. Also, never fail to take the feedback of your audience seriously, as this is one way to improve your business, and try to deal with criticism politely. You know, the time to take action is now. Sure, we're going to have a lot of self-doubts and second thoughts, but that is something all entrepreneurs have to deal with. If you wait for the so-called right time to get started, then you could be waiting forever. The way most successful entrepreneurs preach is to start before you're ready. Take action now because the world will not wait for you to find the perfect time. And again, as Robert Kiyosaki says, winners are not afraid of losing, but losers are. Failure is part of the process of success. People who avoid failure also avoid success. But we can make it easier for ourselves. So if you want to see more, like, subscribe and share this with your friends and family. We're hedging our own future to look after ourselves and then be able to help and to teach others. Until next time, in wealth and wellness, this is Jamie at The Hedge Teacher.